Hello dear learners today we are going to discuss the part 4 which is the extension of experiment 1 from social pharmacy wherein we are going to talk about the national immunization programs for infants and children in earlier video we have covered the principle behind the national immunization program okay wherein we have given the coverage behind uh, to the theory behind the uh, immunization programs okay so in this part we are going to discuss in detail what are the national immunization programs so first we need to understand basically what is immunization or vaccination so immunization is nothing but it is the production of resistance in the body by means of immunological agents मतलब बहुत सारे इम्यूनोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स हैं ओके वैक्सीन सेरा एंटीटॉक्सीन ओके एंटी सीरम एंड ऑल थ्रू दिस इम्यूनोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स वन कैन गेट द प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम वेरियस डिजीजेस ओके सो दिस इम्यूनोलॉजिकल एजेंट वीड विल प्रोड्यूस अ रेजिस्टेंस इन द बॉडी टू वेरियस इन्फेक्शन और द डिजीजेस सो इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिंग large number of population by producing immunity which is nothing but the resistance of the body to fight against various infections or to uh, resist the effect of invasion of the pathogen which we have seen in part 2 uh, you can refer back to the part 2 for immunity and its type okay so this is nothing but it is providing the protection through immunological agent generally vaccines okay so national immunization schedule kya hai har ek country ka apna ek immunization schedule hota hai depending upon the local needs that means depending upon the diseases prevalent okay so indian schedule gives the protection for the children against six vaccine preventable diseases okay the many more diseases are also being covered so we will see now the national immunization schedule for infants okay now here you can see the different age fact age sections okay so this is newborn uh, till 2 months okay then 12 months it is infant let us till 1 year okay so we are going to talk about the immunization schedule for the infants wherein the age will be 1 year up to 1 year okay then this we will see like from newborn to one year the schedule we will see what all vaccines are being covered okay so to start with the table ka first part the vaccine which is given at birth okay so there are sections if you will see properly when it is to be administered it is at birth there are three vaccines okay then at 6 10 and 14 week if you will see there are again three vaccines 6 10 14 6 10 14 and the last one 6 10 14 okay so likewise you will see here the vaccines which are being administered the very first is it is bcg that is it is abbreviated form okay then the full form is bacillus calmate gurin bcg which protects again the childhood tuberculosis it is given at birth or as early as possible till 1 year of the age okay dose kya hai iska it is 0.1 ml okay and if it is given until 1 month of age it is 0.05 ml beyond that it is 0.1 ml and it is given through intradermal route okay so now this is the vaccines which are given through various routes like injectables okay or oral so this is given intradermally through injection route to the left upper arm okay the upper arm at the left side okay so uh, this is the detail about the bcg when it is given okay what is the dose what is the route what is the site where it is administered so on these all points there are the questions possible that when it is administered okay what is the name of the vaccine for that particular disease say for example for tb okay then uh, you should be able to answer that it is a bcg 
okay at what time it is given then you should be able to answer that it is given at the birth or maximum till one year of age through which route is it it is administered likewise also they can ask you at what dose it is given okay so all these detailing can come in the form match the following mcq one mark question and many more so the next part we are going to include the major 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 part that is the synopsis and viva question on this experiment okay in this part we will see the details in this sections okay so the second vaccine is hepatitis b vaccine okay it protects against the hepatitis b again it is given at birth or as early as possible within 24 hours so at birth within 24 hours the dose is 0.5 ml and it is given intramuscularly to the anterolateral side of mid thigh okay so various uh, sites and the roots you can see i'll show you pictorically which we are going to cover in the next part also okay but i'll show you uh, once here also okay so these are various roots you can see this is intradermal okay these are the layers epidermis dermis subcutaneous muscles okay so this here the deep uh, angle you can see at 90 degree angle it is intramuscular okay 45 degree it is the upper layer subcutaneous intradermal it is 10 to 15 degree that is nothing but it is in intradermal in the dermis okay likewise so these are various roots of injectables and then these are various sides okay upper arm this one is left this one is right okay this is deltoid muscle okay then the um, anterolateral side of the mid thigh the exact location okay these are various sides and these are various roots okay so orally it is given in the form of drops as you can see here it is opv do bones in the ki jo diye jate hai so these are the details about the roots of administration and the sites okay now the third one is it is oral polio vaccine that is opv0 okay which is a birth dose so it is opv0 for the protection against polio myelitis okay which is an viral infection so at birth or as early as possible within first 15 days so dose given since it is do bones in the giki the dose is two drops through oral route okay the site site will not come here since it is given orally okay then the next part it is opv only it is one two three booster doses okay after the birth dose so it is given at sixth week tenth week and fourteenth week again the protection given is against poliomyelitis till five years of age okay so again it is dobun zindagi ki through oral route then the inactivated polio vaccine that is IPV, it is IPV which is giving the protection against poliomyelitis at 6th and 14th week till 1 year of age, dose is 0.1 ml and it is given intradermally since it is inactivated polio vaccine, okay. So it is injectable, it is given intradermally in the right upper arm okay then the next one is pentavalent vaccine now this is uh, what you can say it is uh, like uh, hum log bolte hai multicolor so it is multi disease vaccine okay multiple vaccines combined vaccine okay so the pentavalent since the name is penta it will cover five so short form tum log dekh sakte ho yahan pe red color mein maine likha hai dtp hep b एच आई बी तो ये क्या है डिप्थेरिया टिटनस पर्ट्यूसिस हिपोटाइटिस बी हिमोफिलस इन्फ्लुएंजे टाइप बी ओके सो इट इज डी पी टी हिपेटाइटिस बी एच आई बी तीन ये हो गए डी टी पी हिपोटाइटिस बी एंड हिमोफिलस इन्फ्लुएंजे बी सो दिस इज नथिंग बट पेंटा वैलेंट वैक्सीन ओके एट सिक्स वीक टेंथ वीक एंड फोर्टींथ वीक टिल वन ईयर ऑफ एज the dose is 0.5 ml which is given intramuscularly within the muscles you can say at 90 degree angle okay intradermally it was 10 to 15 degree 
and so on okay so this is enterolateral side of mid thigh again then the next one it is rotavirus vaccine okay oh, rvv it is against the diarrhea okay rotavirus diarrhea matlab diarrhea caused due to rotavirus it is given at the age 6 week 10th week and 14th week till 1 year of age the dose required is since it is orally given which is a lyophilized vaccine the dose is 5 drops and the root is oral root okay the next if you will see the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine that is pcv 1 2 and booster okay again it is given at 6 week 14 week and 9 month okay it is 6 10 14 nahi hai it is 6 14 and 9 months hai till 1 year of age it is 0.5 ml dose which is given intramuscularly in the anterolateral side of mid thigh again mr vaccine measles rubella 9 month completed till 12 month can give up to 5 years if not received the vaccine at 9 to 12 months of age okay so this is measles uh, ek alag hi hai this is the only one vaccine measles vaccine which is given subcutaneously at the dose of 0.5 ml <coughs> in the right upper arm then the next is vitamin a <coughs> now vitamin a if you will see here <coughs> vitamin a if you will see here it is not a vaccine you can call it is just a prophylactic vaccine you can say just a nutritional value addition it is again at the same age of the measles vaccine 9 to 12 months okay along with measles only it is given when the measles is given through subcutaneously vitamin a is given orally in dose of 1 ml okay 1 lakh international units so this is the unique combination which you need to remember that measles is given subcutaneously along with the vitamin a ka oral dose next is japanese encephalitis okay at the 9 to 12 months of age Uh, till uh, it can be given till 15 years of age in the dose of 0.5 ml again it is having the two roots that it can be given intramuscularly also and subcutaneously also live vaccine through subcutaneous inactivated or killed vaccine through intramuscular subcutaneous in the left upper arm and intramuscular in the anterolateral side of mid thigh again if you will correlate the roots and the site when it is intramuscular it is anterolateral side of mid thigh when it is subcutaneous it is generally upper arm okay you can see here in the intramuscular hai the anterolateral side hai okay then intradermal hai to upper arm hai then subcutaneous hai to upper arm hai so this way you can remember logically okay next we are going to cover the national immunization schedule for children now this national immunization schedule includes these vaccines the very first is dpt that is diphtheria pertussis tetanus booster dose which was covered earlier also in case of infants so when it is given it is 16 to 24 months okay that means it is approximately 1.5 to 2 years ka age the dose is 0.5 ml given intramuscularly since it is intramuscular it is anterolateral side of mid thigh and the diseases which are prevented are diphtheria pertussis tetanus then the opv booster again 16 to 24 months if you will see all are 16 to 24 months okay do bun zindagi ki since it is opv orally it is given okay this is it is polio not measles okay measles second dose it is 16 to 24 months 0.5 ml given subcutaneously in the right upper arm and that is this is measles okay japanese encephalitis again the same or but it is endemic it is given only in the selected districts uh, uh, it is pertaining to only district related issues uh, if required then 16 to 24 months again subcutaneously therefore it is upper arm 0.5 ml 
and it gives a protection against Japanese encephalitis. Okay. Again, vitamin A. It where in with the infants it was with measles in the age of nine to twelve months. Now this is the second to nine, sixth dose here. Okay. So ये क्या है? Sixteen months with DPT OPV booster. मतलब ये पहला या फिर दूसरे वैक्सीन के साथ sixteen to twenty four months में ही दिया जाता है. Orally दिया जाता है. So it is uh, if it is DPT is intramuscular, it is given orally. And one dose at every six months up to the age of five. It is prophylactic purpose. That is just for preventive measure. Okay. Then DPT second booster. First booster was there in sixteen to twenty four months. Second booster is in the age of five to six years. Again the same intramuscularly point five ml and the upper arm. Now here it is <coughs> upper arm. TT again. 10 to 16 years, 0.5 ml intramuscular upper arm and the tetanus. Okay, this is for children. So with this, we finished. Now ah, TT again, it is given uh, at the pregnancy age also. First trimester, second trimester, two doses are given. Then the three years ka gap. If the two doses are given in the pregnancy, so this is according to the. Uh, immunization schedule of the of our country so here we finish with the immunization program ka chart next part stay tuned with us because i am going to give you a great trick to remember this national immunization program with few tricks so how you are going to remember this the tricks we are going to learn so these two tables will be on the tip of your tongue whenever they will be asked so again uh, you can go to our site okay wherein you can uh, get the free of cost material which is, which is available many more notes are being uploaded mcqs are there okay you can visit to our youtube channel also wherein you can find various mcqs okay as well as the topics videos on various subjects of pharma then uh, visit our instagram page facebook page okay so with this we finish with this immunization programs in next part we will continue with the trick to remember this program ka chart which we have seen in this video thank you